Well, welcome back to a, another edition of Dirt Rich. Today we're going to change it up a little bit and we're going to do a little video of how to catch a poacher. So, I've got a new camera that I've bought that I want to try out. Uh, recently over here at one of my leases, I've got a lake that we've been fishing and excuse me if I'm looking around, I'm driving too. And uh, But we've been fishing and when I was out there the other day, I noticed a ton of limbs cut. And I had this problem last year and I thought I got it resolved, but I guess I didn't. But um, we've got a ton of limbs cut in these different spots where I can tell these people are coming in and fishing. So last time we went out there, I went over there to investigate and sure enough, there's tracks, people throwing beer cans and everything on the ground. So. I've got a new video camera that uh, I use as a game camera that has just been released. I sort of wanted to do a review on it too so I could let y'all guys in on a little secret we got. It's great. And uh, so I think I'm gonna do a, a camera review and then at the same point, I'm fixing to catch these poachers. There's nothing worse than somebody that's gonna be a fence hopper coming over on the property, disrespecting, throwing beer cans, everything else out not to mention putting pressure on deer going in and out and that's that's a big concern for me because we do we work so hard year round to to keep the pressure off of these deer and then you got people going through the middle of your property all times fishing and all this and uh, it just doesn't build a sanctuary that we want so I'm going to head out there now y'all see me here shortly and um, I'm gonna get this camera. Um, I'll do a quick tutorial and uh, let's see what we can catch. I hope we catch these jokers, I promise you that. Welcome to Dirt Rich Outdoors, a channel dedicated to people that love to hunt, people that love to fish, and most importantly, the people willing to put in the hard work to transform their property to be dirt rich. Today I'm dealing with poachers. Number one problem is probably the most kick in the gut that you can get. Um, I've got a lake I'll show you behind me. It's about 10 acre lake and um, I constantly got people coming in here fishing. I'm using Tacticam cameras to monitor who comes in and out of all my properties but I'm finding that half the time I'm not even getting pictures of them. The other half it's getting they're they're cutting through the screen and it's it's just hasn't been effective so we came over here and fished about a week ago when we found some places around the lake that somebody's been in here fishing normally i don't you know somebody asked me to go fishing if 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 i want to allow that person to fish i'm fine with it but when somebody blatantly poaches on you it hits me hard i spend a lot of time effort money strategically making these places as good as they possibly can and for somebody to come in and have the audacity not to ask and just think that they can do whatever they want on my properties that is not acceptable we spend a lot of time mainly trying to keep pressure off of these places but with that said we've got some people coming in here wanting to poach i've got a new camera that i bought last year probably november of last year maybe set, maybe october and uh, it's a keen camera. I was wanting to do a review on it because it is a game changer when it comes to cameras and uh, video surveillance on your deer, your properties, everything else. This camera is 360 degree pan tilt zoom and it is a game changer. It's got a, um, it's got a solar panel that comes with it. I have not one time changed the batteries and I get hundreds and hundreds of videos throughout a week or whatever, even thousands sometimes, depending on where I have the camera. But today we're gonna put this camera up and I hope I can catch these poachers and I'm gonna keep y'all posted when I do because it's not good, it's not good. Somebody wants to be introduced to Dirt Rich and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make them Dirt Rich today and hopefully we can catch them and we don't tolerate that. Well guys, that's about all it is to it. If you can see the camera up there, um, that's all it is. I usually don't put them quite that high, but just in case there is a poacher, or if we catch the poacher, I don't want them to be able to 
to grab my camera and take it off with them. Even though I have video of them, it's just a little precautionary, but that's why I use the ladder. Normally, I would put them about this high or so, and uh, but I've used them over feeders, I've used them over scrapes, I've used them on trails, I've used them in my food plots. Awesome results. When I get back to the house, I'll sure to show y'all the live view of how you pan, tilt, zoom around your food plot. I use them every time I go into my plot. I can turn my phone, I can turn my camera on, and I can scan around my plot to see if anything's in there just to make sure I don't bump them. And I can do the same thing when I leave. But um, these are game changers, keen camera. And uh, they will take over the market before long, you'll see. And uh, But let me get back, let me get this wrapped up so I can get on out of here. And then um, I'll keep y'all updated as we go. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. As I always say, be dirt rich. We fishing to put some whopping on some poachers. Well, here's the setup. Um, you've got the camera, and you got a simple solar power, and um, but that's what it looks like when it's set up. And um, it's 360 degrees um, tilt, pan, zoom, everything. Hey guys, like I was saying, these things are game changers. Stay tuned, we're gonna catch some poachers today. Thank you for watching Dirt Rich Outdoors. We'll see you.